hi everyone uh, today's project we are going to make coffee uh, filter flowers so the first thing to make these flowers you have to dye the coffee filters okay um, so you just take a stack of plain white coffee filters I've already dyed the water um, this I, I can't tell you how many drops of food coloring to use because this is I, I use the gel so I just squirted some in there and the general rule is the darker the water the the darker these are going to die so you know they'll still be kind of light um, because we are going to die you know so many at a time but um, I would get the dark the darker the water the better so you'll get more of a color so we're going to dye these they're going to turn out to be um, pink like a pale pink so you have your water I've already colored it obviously and you can dye five of these or more you can kind of test out but I use five and you can dye them together so it makes the process a whole lot quicker so all you do is you just hold them together and you just dip them into the water and you want to let the color the water soak in okay you'll see it kind of rise up and I'll let it drip off there and have a cup ready and you just let it sit there overnight if you want to let it completely dry it usually doesn't take that long but um, and make sure I have a table covering on this table but you can always put like a pan or something underneath so it doesn't dye your table or whatever your surface you're working with so um, we are going to use two colors today um, with this project yellow and pink which you just saw me dye the pink so you would also do this again for the yellow or however many colors you want to do so that is how you dye the coffee filters okay now that we've dyed the coffee filters um, as you can see here I have yellow two yellow and these are how the pink ones turned out so use four per flower and you could do all one color if you wanted to um, I like to switch it up and do two different colors so um, so you have your coffee filters next thing you need are the these are the barbecue skewers and um, they have the points on the end and I actually did find these I think I bought them online in the green so they look like a stem but you can always spray paint them if you can't find the green and then the last thing you use if you can see these they're clear and they're the hair ties the stretchy hair hair ties hair bands and I just got these at Walmart um, the hair section back with the brushes hair brushes and you only need one per flower and you can get a package of a bunch so so that is what you use to make the flower so first thing we're going to do we'll start with a pink okay and you just want to pinch pinch it in the middle at the bottom so you can see that do a little pinch okay and just pull the sides up just, just like that okay you can always already kind of see it's starting to look flowerish so I'm gonna start with a yellow this time and I'm gonna pinch the yellow in the middle and pull it up around the pink okay smooth them up kind of squash them together there you go They're kind of starting to look like flowers okay all right so next we need another pink okay so i'll take this group pinch in the middle and pull up and the more you add, the fuller they get. So you can use more than four if you want to. Um, and then lastly, take the yellow, pinch it in the middle, pull it up. Okay. And kind of use it there, make it kind of come together at the bottom a little bit. Okay. So the next part we're going to place our stem and you want to make sure you find the very middle of the flower because you're going to take this sharp point put it down there you go 
through the middle. Okay, just see what I'm doing. I'm just sliding it down. And you want to leave enough that you can attach your flower to it. So that's what it looks like. Um, you can kind of put down in the middle in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's there it is right there. So you can just push it down a little bit. Okay. So the next part is we're going to secure all of this together. Okay, using our hairband. So you take your hairband and you just kind of put your flower like this. Okay. Kind of you want to make sure you get the stem and all. And the good thing about these is they're so stretchy they go over both. Okay. And you just want to keep going. You may have to do it this way once it gets to a certain point. Keep going until you get it tight. Okay. Just enough so it it stays there and you can adjust it as you need to. Okay, so there, that's what it looks like. So now, you want to finesse your coffee filters, kind of pull them and shape them, just so they look like what you want them to, look like a flower. Okay, there you go. That is your coffee filter flower. And if you make a whole bunch of these, you can do like a little arrangement. And if you're like me, you're not great with plants. I kill all the plants that I have in my house. So fake flowers are the best flowers to me. So, <laughs> so that is how you make coffee filter flowers. Okay, super easy, super quick. All right. Thanks for crafting with me. I'll see you next time.